The nursing profession has a rich and impressive history. The Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and the Institute of Medicine have assessed the profession of nursing and have developed initiatives and recommendations um, in order to enhance um, the outcomes of nursing. Um, one of those initiatives is to enhance nursing leadership. As a result, the North Carolina Nurses Association have created several initiatives to address nursing leadership within the state of North Carolina. One of those initiatives is the creation of the North Carolina Nurses Association Leadership Academy, which began in 2012. As members of the North Carolina Nurses Association 2013 Leadership Academy, we thank you for your time and commitment to nursing, and thank you for all that you do as a nursing leader. Nursing leadership means that I have a passion for nursing. It's critical thinking. It's, it's when there's no obvious solution to something, a nurse leader will be the one that kind of orchestrates a process um, so that there's a collaborative answer to that problem. Making change in patient care all around, making effective change in policy and procedures within a hospital system. We have to be leaders in the political arena. So much in North Carolina is happening at the legislative arena and not necessarily just focused on nursing but in healthcare in general and as nurses we need to we need to be advocates engage in diversity within their team work uh, in in a way that uh, they will generate all the strengths from the team members and be able to translate that into a better outcomes my question about you know is who is a leader is we all all nurses are leaders, or at least potentially so. It's just that not all the time nurses know that they're leaders, but what they do as a nurse is leadership. They empower nurses to do better. They promote the profession of nursing. Mentors, they're professionals, they're advocates. Good communicator and can listen to patients, to nurses, to nursing students. Both empathetic and yet courageous. You have to be courageous to be a leader. You have to be courageous to be a nurse. You can uh, lead your team to do these changes that's going around your environment, be it in practice, be it in education or administration. You can be an active nursing leader by listening and learning from others to seek out opportunities to grow and develop. Staying active in healthcare and policy issues. You can be active by promoting research to uh, increase the body of knowledge for nursing. Being active means taking a stand at times and being an advocate for quality health care. Even in the political realm, staying active is sometimes uh, speaking to legislators, uh, senators, um, house members to um, advocate for quality health care and also to advocate for research monies to increase the body of knowledge that we have in nursing recognizing um, that you are and you have the potential to be a leader and then categorizing some of the skills that would be essential for good leaders and practicing those I think would be a good ways to become better and more active leaders.